but at school, I enjoyed uh, engineering, drawing, art. I was really into art, um, and I enjoyed the, the engineering side, which is why I mean, I wanted to either be an architect to join the Air Force. Initially, I, I wanted to be an architect, so I took engineering, drawing, and I took um, uh, like metalwork and stuff like that, and art. Um, it was actually my school teacher talked me out of being an architect. He says, well, you know, you'll spend most of your time doing windows for Wimpy and things like that. And I thought, well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I joined the Air Force in the June and I was 18 in the September. So I was just over 17 and a half. I was, I was a mechanic. Uh, I was an aircraft mechanic. So my, you do your basic training, your trade training. So that's, that takes about eight months. And then uh, I went to my first squadron and I just worked on aircraft. I was just an aircraft mechanic. I did that for three years and then I was selected for further training, for promotion. So I went away back to training. I did another six months training. And I, that was, I just worked on aircraft for most of my Air Force career. Started that uh, 93, actually the same year my daughter was born. Um, and it took me seven years. So I did that the whole time I was, I was in the Air Force. So at the end of it, I had got my honours degree. Um, and uh, as I said, it took me seven years. And the majority of the time, because it was all done in my own, in my spare time, and I would go in deployment for two, three, four months at a time, I would take all my stuff with me. And I sat most of my exams abroad. I think there's a lot of people um, are pro maybe focused on and money or doing a job, which is, you know, they think, well, I can earn a lot of money being an accountant. Or See, if you don't want to be an accountant, don't be an accountant. Do, the, do what you're good at and do what you enjoy. That's why I, uh, I joined the Air Force. I, I was good at it uh, and I, why I left and I became an environmental manager. And I'm good at that. I'm good at it because I've got a lot of transferable skills, but I'm good at it because I enjoy it. And it's having that passion for what you're doing that is just as important as the skills. If you've got that passion and you've got that uh, interest in what you're doing, then that's far more important than a piece of paper that says you've got a degree.